Assalamu alaikum it's Surya from H Learning Studio and this is the third podcast of the series of podcasts that I'm creating for you so that you can increase your listening skill for IELTS and for other English language tests In today's podcast there is going to be something special for you because today I'm going to discuss about something about my life my personal experience and a question that I used to ask for myself that what are the things that stop me to achieve my goals or to fulfill my dreams and what are the reason that I should fulfill my dreams in my life because there are also a lot of people living in this life and near to me that could be my relatives and some of the friends also that I know they are not actually working for their dreams and if they are not working for their dreams then why I should do it and as this podcast is just for you I want you to share your opinion that why you should fulfill your dreams and what are the things that stop you to achieve your goal and by the way <laughs> what are your goals I didn't ask you about that so Let's start from the beginning. When I was a kid, I was the kind of person that never wanted to be socialized in her circle. I never wanted to talk to anybody else, even with my friends or even with my family members. At that time, I used to hide myself behind a cover. Like it seems like I was afraid of something. I was getting scared to talk to other people, to get into something, to try a new things. and it's a true thing that people used to consider me as a loser it it's just just a truth i'm just telling you guys honestly it was a time when people would just try to degrade me as much as i was trying to pull myself up to do something new and to do something that would be great for me but people just always used to degrade me that that's not a good thing you are not able to do that oh you are doing this and this thing was making me more and more weak from deep inside Just think about it that a kid who was just 12 or 13 years old was thinking too much about her way of talking, about her performance, about her appearance. There was there was a lot of thing that she was thinking and that girl was me. And the reason was that there was no one who can understand me, who can ask me that what you want to do, what kind of personality do you have? Like just I will summarize each and every single thing from my childhood till now that there was no one to say that, yeah, you can do it. Or just tell me what you want to be. I will help you. Well, I appreciate you. And the second factor was that also like I was not that much confident on myself that what I want to be, what I want to do, what should I do, how should I support myself, and all these kind of things. And in this way people got a lot of different chances to prove that I was wrong. Like they used to say I'm not even able to do anything in my life and I was working just according to their words. I mean whatever they were talking about me, I was considering it right. Yeah, exactly. People are right about me about my performance, about my personality. And this fear of being so poor in my performance in my college, in my school and even in my university, not in the beginning but at the end of my university was making me more and more conscious about my personality yeah exactly people are really true about me and my dreams were like they're nothing to me i mean they were getting faded i never paid focus on that i was just trying to make other people happy i don't know what was the reason behind that but yeah exactly i wanted to fill the space that was created by the people inside me that are nothing and that's why i was trying to make other people happy instead of focusing on my dreams so that people can appreciate me and I can get more confidence I can be a better person I can be a better person in my society that was the whole thing I was trying from a childhood till now but here was a turning point of my life when I get a shock in the middle of my university level it gave me a chance it gave me some time to think about myself and to think about my life that what I was doing with that It hits me so hard that I finally realized that yeah exactly there was something wrong and I have to make it right. And honestly those moment made everything crystal clear in front of me that what kind of mistake I was making and how should I tackle those problems. And then I decided to do something different with myself. So the first thing that I changed was my attitude. And the reason that why I consider it as the first thing to be changed in my life was that because I was considering myself as a loser and obviously when I was not giving respect to myself who going to give me that so I started appreciating myself for doing each and every single thing that I was doing on daily basis and this thing honestly I never done ever before and its impact on my personality was just amazing like I never felt that kind of confidence that kind of like appreciation from deep inside my heart that I was doing at these days and second thing that I stopped to do was I stopped caring about other people. 
I mean, I just stopped caring what they think about me because that was the second greatest hindrance that was stopping me to achieve my goal. And I'm sure that you have also faced this problem, isn't it? If yes, then let me know that how many times you have faced this problem and how you have actually handled it and what was the actual result of you're caring about people too much i really want to know about your opinion because it's kind of fun that if i'm sharing my story that it'll be really great to know about yours and the third thing that i did was i stopped being afraid of talking to someone else and also participating in a kind of discussion because the reason that i was afraid of being participating in discussion was that i was not considering myself able to talk to other people because i was so con conscious about myself about my appearance about my way of talking that people will always degrade me for what who i am this thing was making me so consciously weak from deep inside i have already mentioned in this podcast but yeah that was really bad and i know that mostly people you can say 80 percent of our youngsters in university, in colleges, or maybe in schools, I uh, had this kind of problem. But finally, I did it. Because there's a funny fact behind that. When I firstly tried to participate in a conversation in my class or uh, in a gathering, everyone was shocked. That was my first time that I was talking to someone else in such a group. Because before that, I never tried it. So they also didn't ask me for having a conversation with them. But finally, when I did it, <laughs> they was really amazed by that. And the fourth thing that I stopped was I stopped hiding myself behind anyone else. Before that, I used to hide myself. I never wanted to talk to other people. I never wanted to show up in classroom or in a gathering. I changed my this habit. And instead of hiding myself, I started taking first step in saying salam to others. And I think that was the biggest and a greatest step that I have ever taken to improve myself because it created a kind of magical impact on my personality, on my way of behaving with others in front of people. And the fifth thing that I'd stopped in my life was I stopped procrastinating the work that I wanted to do today. I mean, before that, I had a bad habit of procrastinating the work a lot. The work that I was giving the deadline for four days or three days, I used to procrastinate it until the last deadline. And that was really bad for me because at the end, I was not even able to make the work right to do everything in peaceful mind with peaceful like manner. I just rushed with everything at the end. I definitely in the same way, if you have this kind of behavior, definitely you're going to get the result at the end in such a way. And at the end, the greatest step that I've taken for myself, for my improvement and in my life to change it was I consider myself able to do each and every single thing that I've dreamed of. Because till then, I realized that if I can think in that way, I can definitely get it. And it's not just my saying. I'm not just saying to appreciate you guys or to motivate you. It's my true story, guys. <laughs> I'm just telling you honestly. Each and every single thing that I've said in it is true. Because from the beginning, I was totally different. You can say I, my ch life has changed from 180 degrees. And it is just because now I knew that I want to do something in my life. And that's the benefit of having a dream in your life. So Alhamdulillah, after being a change and after doing these changes, the first thing that happened to me was people started recognizing me as a individual. Like before that, I didn't have any uh, separate identification in a community of being a student and also and uh, my family members, I can say that. But when I changed this behavior, when I changed these five things, it just boosted my confidence. It just boosted my way of speaking, my way of talking, my way of my walking and all these things. I, I, wanna, I don't know what should I say in this way. But I was so amazed uh, by the behavior of other people toward me. And it was a great, like, it was a really great feeling. And the second thing that happens to me was I didn't even realize that how magically it was boosting my confidence and my, like, my ability to talk to other people. Yeah, definitely I wanted to be a motivational speaker, but I never knew that it could make me much confidence to that level. Yeah, exactly. In the beginning, it's, it cannot be that much easy for you to change your habits suddenly and to face a new situation, a new environment around you. But honestly, guys, it's really fun. Just keep this thing in your mind that the thing, the third step that I taken, like I stopped thinking about other people. I stopped caring about other people. What they think about me? This step was like, uh, it's a kind of magic. You can say it's a true magic. When you stop thinking about other people, you definitely get a true sense of living your life. Yeah, definitely you should not be too weird. You should not behave in a negative way with other people. But I'm saying that don't waste your life because of others. Be individual, 
Allah has created you an individual and Allah has given you the ability to do whatever you want in your life. Yeah, exactly. There are some people, your supportive network, like your friends, your true friends and your family members and all the people that love you that really truly like he wants and he or she wants to support you appreciate the support of those people but don't consider everyone your true friend everyone your like a true and supportive person because not all the people are gonna be in the same way for you now just tell me do you have this supportive nature <laughs> just let me know okay so the third thing that changed in my life after changing the habits was people started appreciating me for my skill because before that i used to degrade my own self i was not giving respect to my own self but how other people can give me if you're not ready to respect yourself honestly people not going to give you the respect that you want in your life if you want to get respected first give respect to yourself and as i told you that i was an artist from the beginning i have artistic skill like painting making the sketches and doing the 3d art and also doing a lot of designing and like designing is my passion you can say so i was a born artist i never showed my skills to other people and when i started giving respect to myself i started like showing my skills to other people without being afraid that what people will think about me and that was a great step for me i think that was a positive step for me for my life showing those kind of things people start recognizing me as an artist in my own because that was my prominent skill that I was showing to everyone because other than that, I didn't have a good grade max in my studies. So that was the only thing that I can show to other people. And then after doing a lot of different things with myself, I never procrastinated each and every single thing that I wanted to do. Like when I decided to start a channel, I just never taken more than three or four days. I just started that even I didn't know about that, how to start a channel. And then uh, when I decided to make my communication skill a little bit more better, I never paid focus on other people, what they think about me, what kind of comments or what kind of suggestions they're going to give me. I, I will never recommend you to go for academies and all these kind of things. You can also learn a lot of things on YouTube as you're doing right now. And the same thing I had done in my career. So I recommend you to the same thing that is more simple, that is more affordable and that is more great for you. I mean, it will be more easy for you and now after doing all those things that i wanted to do in my life still i'm on my way to get more and more and to be at the level that i literally wanted to be i will never share my dreams over here because that's a little bit secret but definitely you're gonna see me in the future inshallah if i'll get a life that definitely i'll be a person that i want to be because alhamdulillah i got away i knew what i should do what kind of thing i should avoid and all those things all those stuff that i have taken i have defined you in this podcast and i hope that you guys will also follow all the things that i'm doing now first just let me know what kind of mistakes you have been making in your life because i know that definitely you're not gonna have the same problems as i have faced you also have a little bit problem but that could be different so i would love to hear about that because your thinking and your opinions about my story and what you think about this thing the story that i've told you right now is really worthful for me as i promised that in the beginning i will tell you about the thing that what you should not do to achieve your goals and what kind of mistake you should not make but at the end i will tell you that why we actually need it i mean what is the benefit of having goals in your life and that's what i'm gonna tell you right now the first thing that why we actually need it is because it makes you feel alive when you have a dream when you have a goal to achieve in your life it always just keep boosting you to achieve it to do something to be active to get that and as compared to that if you don't have a dream and if you're living your life randomly without any reason definitely my friend it's not gonna work for you even it's not going to give you any result at the end and the second thing that why you should do it why you should have a dream in your life is because it makes you feel happy when you have a dream even if you are not like still if you haven't got it but still if you have a dream and if you're struggling for that always make you feel happy that you're doing something you are getting closer and closer to your dream that you have dreamed in your life so if the happiness and being alive, that's the only thing that we need at the end of our life, then why not to get a little bit more active for that? Why not to struggle for that? Why not to have a dream of our life instead of living a life randomly? So my friend, as you're listening to me, please share your stories and your opinion of what you think about this and what you think about your life 
are you satisfied with what are you doing or you still have some dreams that you're not working on and you are afraid of all the other people that what they will think about you if yes then share with me i have a lot of different things to share with you too and i hope that through this podcast you have got a lot of different things that how you should tackle the problem what kind of thing you should avoid and what are the things that is not that much important but we have considered important and if you want to be successful only you have to get up early morning you have to do a lot of different work in a day to keep making struggles on daily basis to get the goal at the end never ever rely on other people but allah who has created you he knows better what's good for you and what's not so only believe on him and don't believe on other people like if they're talking in a really bad way about you but yeah get suggestions suggestions i mean these are not bad things but if these are degrading you and if they are pulling you away i mean they're pushing away from your dreams then don't pay focus too much about that <laughs> i think i've spoken a lot about it and please 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 don't forget to see this video because this podcast is going to be really important for you if you will not listen to that i think you will miss something something really great that can help you to increase your listening skills and also can give you a better idea about the life i think so so keep smiling and keep motivating yourself i'll catch you in the next video as you will click on this podcast see you later take care goodbye